right, this has got to be one of the most successful XC bikes out there. This is Jenny Risvet's Scott Spark Pro Bike Check. Like always, I'm going to start off with the frame. It's a full carbon bike, so there's a carbon front triangle, carbon rear triangle, and the suspension travel is at 100 mil. Nice little toe-peak carbon bottle cage there to go with it. But this is a signature bike just for her. You cannot get this out there on the market. It's got her name on it. So there it says Jenny Resvets. She's got the top flag there. It's the Swedish flag. So that means she's a national champ. Then she's got the rainbow colors under there. She's under 23 world champ in this category. So she gets the colors. But there's one thing I want to point out on this bike. These details are not stickers. They are painted in from factory. That is pro. Moving on to the drive chain, this is SRAM XX1. It's eagle, it's gold, and it is sick. It's one by 12, it's 50 to 10 on the rear. On the front, it's a 36 tooth. She's got carbon cranks. She's got some Richie V6 pedals clipped so she can't get up. All right, moving on to the wheel. This is where you start to see a lot of gold coming into it. She's not only just a national champ in her country, she's not under 23 UCI world champ, she is an Olympic winner, so this is where all the gold comes into it. This is a DT Swiss wheel build, hub and rim, full carbon, with some Maxxis Aspen wheels, super high rolling tire for those fast speeds. Right, much like the rear, DT Swiss wheel build, Maxxis tire. As you start to see a little bit more gold, look at hashtag gold standard, gold nipples, gold on the hub, even the SRAM logo on the brake is gold. But the thing with these front forks, yeah, the RockShox SID, special, special color. Nina Schurter and Ginny Resvets are the only ones that has this color and it's got her name on it. And it's a hundred mil of travel. Right, moving up to the cockpit of the bike. Every rider out there has their difference in bar length, drop, rise, everything. For Jenny, she's got 680 length of bar, full carbon synchros bar. She has 90 mil reach on her stem. It's a synchros XR 1.5 with a 25 degree sweep down, not up. So it's low riding position. And the bar, that's a five mil drop as well. So that's quite a low riding bar. Right, these are the controls. There's a lot going on here. It's like Spaghetti Junction, but they all do a purpose. She's got a Garmin computer here that takes her time in, her heart rate, and all that distance she does on the ride. Moving on to the brakes, she's got some SRAM level ultimate. This is where you can see a little bit more gold. Look at that, on both levers. Then she's got the Scott twin lock right here. So that locks out the suspension front and rear. You don't want it to sag on those big, big climbs. She's got a nice rock shock dropper post shed. That is weird. This is an XC bike and she's got a dropper post. Talk about dropper seat posts. This is the rock shock reverb. And I'm speaking to her mechanic, Yannick, and he's doctored this one. So it only drops 30 mil. That is interesting. And then all those hours of sitting on that saddle, she's sitting on her own signature saddle, Ginny Wrist Feds. It's a synchro saddle and it's full carbon down on the rails. It gives her that extra rigidity. Right, enough of me talking about your bike. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Are you like super nitty picky on a few settings or is it just... No, to be honest, I'm not that into the mechanical uh, part of yeah, yeah. Uh, mountain biking, but I'm... Um, um, trying to learn and like because this is actually um it's my job to, yeah. to know about my own bike so uh, um what i'm trying to get used to is the suspension and the fork yeah fork yeah, yeah. pressure and because uh, you raced hardtail for a long yeah, time i did and yeah. i jumped on a full suspension last season for the yeah. first time and i really liked it and we're more uh, comfortable on those long rides or yeah um as soon as you uh Get, get used to it and learn how to handle it because it's a completely different riding style. You have to go uh, more aggressive and, and uh, if, if you learn how to handle it, then you can use it uh, for your advantage. Yeah, and and yeah. yeah, that's super cool. I really like it. Right, I see this little lever here on an XC bike and you've yeah. got one of these. What? you got dropper post on a full blown bike. What? What's that? Um, Is that new? Yeah, I tried it. Uh, we did the Cape Epic estate race in South Africa and I tried it for the first time. And uh, I'm, yeah, I really, I love it. Um, yeah. So I'll also try it out at the World Cups, um, the upcoming World Cup season. Yeah. And uh, see how it works. Um, I'm able to drop 30 millimeters and which is quite, it's not, 
it's that not, much. It's not that much, but no. it's enough for you to get yeah, far cause back I, over. Yeah, because I really like to... Uh, I like when I still sit on the saddle, but yeah. drop a little bit, and then I have uh, yeah, a little bit more um, control and bike handling and cornering. And, okay. and, and on those descents as well. Yeah. So yeah, that's a new thing, and and uh, so far um, I really like yeah, it. Yeah, no. It's... But we have to mention the color. Oh so, yes, yeah. Uh, it's beautiful. The most important no, thing on my bike, in my opinion. Yeah, well. <laughs> no, and actually. It's a custom fork from Rock Chucks with the um, yeah in this I don't know what to say about the what what's the color is called but uh, turquoise you see in Swedish turquoise 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 yeah there that's my favorite color thank you so much for showing off your bike Jenny I like it. it's a super nice bike thanks if you want to see another pro bike click down here for Nino Schurter if you want to see XC versus downhill click just down there and if you want to subscribe to the channel you click here. Click right here and give this bike a thumb up like. I'll it's be hot. back. Arigato. Bye.